I'm Jennifer. And you have found Water and Fire Tarot. How are you? And you're Aquarius. Or maybe you're a rising moon, Venus, or maybe, just maybe, you're looking in on Aquarius. How are you? We're going to take a look at your energy from the 27th, that's today, through July 4th. Welcome. If you're new here, thank you, thank you for stopping by. If you're returning, I love you, love you, love you. Thank you for all of your support. We're going to take a look at your love life, 27th through the 4th. What's on your person's mind? How do they feel about you? What is your advice from spirit? And how is this all going to move forward? All right, Aquarius, let's take a big fat look. Sometimes I say bad words. I'm a fan every once in a while. And if it's offensive, hard left but I hope you stay. Stick around and check it out. All right, what happened in your recent past, Aquarius? You have the Magician in reverse. Major Arcana for Gemini or Virgo. What's the current energy right now? What do we got? Six of Pentacles, Aquarius. Person you're thinking about, what's on their mind? What's going through their thoughts? The Page of Wands, Fire, Leo, Sag, Aries. I just looked at the time on the video. One minute, 11 seconds, one, one, one. What does this person think of you, Aquarius? Ooh, Ten of Pentacles. How do they feel about you deep down? The King of Swords, there you are. Male or female, it is Aquarius energy. You're all up in their emotions. How do they want to move forward? What do they see? The Nine of Cups. So if you're apart, you're on a break, somebody's sleeping on the couch or in the backyard in a tent or something, this is how they feel about reconciling. If you're already together, this is how they see moving forward. What's hidden that you don't see? Ooh, Seven of Swords, Gemini energy. What's your advice from spirit? What do they want you to do? The Empress, beautiful. That's mom, and that's mom's favorite card. I love it. Libra, Taurus, Major Arcana. What's your outcome, Aquarius? What can you expect? Ooh, the King of Cups, Scorpio energy. I just named the signs. It can be anyone, y'all. So. I just like to tell you, doesn't mean it's not your reading, but it, you know, in case sometimes people just want to know what signs I'm seeing in the reading. All right, let's pull you down so you can actually see those cards. It's always helpful. All right, Aquarius. All right, make sure you stick around till the very end, get all your messages, and let's see what's going to happen here, 27th through July 4th. Um, also, I'll make some um, additional comments at the end of the reading, some additional announcements. All right, Aquarius, let's see what's going on. So in the recent past, we've got this magician in reverse. So feeling a lack of power, that magician, Major Arcana number one, it's creation, it's very powerful energy, and it's taking all your tools, mixing them up, and throwing them out there to the law of the it's the law of attraction so it's really able to manifest and create but it was in reverse here in the recent past so maybe feeling powerless as though you know there was something that was out of your control i don't really feel like it's manipulation sometimes in reverse it's somebody wearing a false mask i just don't feel it with this now it could be that your person thought that was happening sometimes if we see the energy here doesn't necessarily mean it's true it's just that energy was all up in them so let's take a look. All right, I'm going to use the uh, Fountain Tarot to clarify because I just love it. And I love it with this deck. This is the Tarot of Mystical Magic for your main spread. All right, let's do it. Why is this Magician in Reverse here in the past? Six of Coins, Earth Energy, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Why is this Magician in Reverse here in the past with the Six of Coins for y'all and the Five of Cups in Reverse? I feel in the recent past here, of course, it was either you, them, you together, you know. That magician in reverse is feeling, again, as though something was out of your control, like you couldn't manifest something. But it, there was a turnaround here with that six of coins. There was some sort of, okay, this is balance. Like there is, you know, people want to give. They don't just want to take. Could, could have really come into your life where it was this kind of equal give and take. It was balanced. No more one-sided shit. See, I just did it. I said a bad word. And with the Five of Cups in reverse, this is getting over the past. This could have been reconciling differences with someone. <clears throat> and when we say reconciling, you could have been with someone already, but maybe you weren't agreeing on something. We're overcoming some sort of challenge with that Five of Cups in reverse, getting over the past 
or maybe you or them were disappointed or sad or missing each other. There is this kind of shift in energy for the better. All right, what's going on right now? We've got the Six of Pentacles, Aquarius. What's this about? And the Two of Coins in reverse. What's the Six of Pentacles with the Two of Coins in reverse? A lot of Earth there, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, and the Hierophant in reverse, Taurus energy. <clears throat> ah, okay. I kind of see what's happening here. Could have been um, somebody was stuck in another relationship. They were trying to get out of something. They were separated. Now, maybe it came back around and somebody announced that they are now free to move forward. We see something being dropped here with that two of coins in reverse. That can be in order to regain balance in a relationship or a connection, you have to drop one of those pentacles. So now somebody's able currently to give their time, their energy, whatever it is. It's more balanced. And it's because of a breakup or, you know, again, the Hierophant in reverse as well, Taurus energy, you know, a breakup, a divorce, something like that. Person you're thinking about, what's on their mind? What's going through their thoughts? Page of Wands. What is this about? And the Ace of Swords, that's your card. Aquarius energy on their mind is now. So we've got the page, which is kind of the beginning. He is bringing some sort of good news. He's, you know, messages, communication. He's, he's bringing good news, though. And with the wands, it's like, now I can take action. I feel a spark. I feel excitement again. There could be something that comes in <clears throat> with communication, but it's the truth. It's finally like this yes. That Ace of Swords is bringing the yes answer. And it's a breakthrough. It's clarity. It's to the point. It's communication. So this person is either waiting for you to bring this good news. And I think for a lot of you... It's that now one of you or both of you are free to move forward. If it hasn't happened yet, it's manifesting. What do they think of you, Aquarius? The Ten of Pentacles and Temperance in reverse. Sign of Sagittarius. Ten of Pentacles with Temperance in reverse. Why is this here? Why do they view Aquarius in this way? Page of Coins. An investment. Again, communication that brings... That pentacle, the page of coins is, again, delivering communication like the page of wands, but with the page of coins, this is a coin that you plant, you nurture it, and it grows. It takes a while. It's slow energy, but it turns into that ten of pentacles, which is all about marriage and commitment and really building a long-term life with someone. So they view you as really wanting something long-term, like you want to build for the future with that Ten of Pentacles. With Temperance in Reverse, maybe you've grown impatient or they think that you were kind of starting to become impatient, like there was never going to be balance in this connection brought to the connection. And with the Page of Coins, again, it's like you just kind of want to, you want to plant those seeds so that it can build for the future. For some of you, it's you that's in this marriage or long-term relationship. And you can't really compromise yet. You can't cooperate yet because of the page of coins. Maybe you have children or maybe you're you're waiting on a on a um a payout, like finances to get better or something before you can move forward. Something like that. What's going on in their emotions? The King of Swords. That's right, Aquarius. It's you. And the Six of Wands. Yeah, they want victory and success. When you feel the King of Swords, <clears throat> this is being, it's, you know, it could be that they are trying to detach a little bit. It's not how they feel, but in their emotions, it's kind of like they know they have to be the King of Swords, which is honest, truthful. That King of Swords wants to cut out all the unnecessary. He wants a very to the point, honest conversation. And it's about the Six of Wands, victory and success. But I think that they're trying to not be overly emotional. What's the Six of Wands? What is it? And the Queen of Swords. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Typically Libra. We've got a King and a Queen of Swords here. So again, it could be that outside of this connection, there's an X, right? Who's this Queen of Swords? Who's this Queen of Swords in their emotions? And the Emperor, Aries energy. Yeah, so the emperor can be a husband. For some of you, it's you. Like you're getting out of a long-term relationship and then just and then balance is going to be restored with this person, the divine masculine, the emperor. So the emperor is trying to regain control 
of a situation, right? He does require order and stability, but he's very nurturing as well. You know, he's above the kings. He, he runs his empire. So again, Aries energy there. They could have been, this person could still be dealing with this queen of swords, could be an ex or like the mother of their children, or something like that. And they're setting up some boundaries here with this person. Or again, for some of you, Aquarius, you're dealing with that energy. So this person that's coming through in this reading is trying to just have that King of Swords energy, which is nurturing with the Emperor, you know, setting up some, some boundaries a little bit here and just trying to use logic over emotion. But they definitely want victory. They definitely want the truth here. They want some sort of victory with you. How do they see moving forward with you? The Nine of Cups. Why the Nine of Cups and Justice, Major for Libra. Ooh, I love that energy. Nine of Cups with Justice. Oh, man, this is like, I. so moving forward, what do they want? What is their plan? Well, with the Nine of Cups, this is manifesting your wishes, your desires. It's being emotionally satisfied, right? It's kind of that energy also, of course, when you're with someone, you, kind of, you overindulge. Like, it just feels good. It feels giddy. It's like, ah, oh, this feels amazing. You could just be sitting around eating Pop-Tarts and watching Netflix, and it feels amazing, right? And with justice, again, balance. There's something about this connection that we've been waiting for balance to be restored, and justice, again, is like a decision. It's a choice that's very, very important, right? And it's fair for everyone. Why is justice here moving forward? Ooh, the tower. That fell out when I was pre-shuffling, by the way. Scorpio, Major Arcana. That tower is a big shift in energy. The tower can be, you know, a breakup, a divorce, but it's not with y'all. It's like a connection outside of your connection, Aquarius. This is a shakeup. This is that enlightenment and that awakening. Man, this person's into you. <laughs> What's going on behind the scenes that you don't know? Uh, Seven of Swords. I feel like this is strategy in this deck. The Seven of Swords. What's this about? Planning. And the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Yeah, because the time hasn't been right. And for some of you, this connection started before somebody was completely available. Listen, we can't help it, right? It's like, it, it happens, like, whatever. No judgment here from mom. I'm just reading the cards. But, you know, it could have been that the timing was off. You may have been dealing with this person for quite a while. The Wheel of Fortune in reverse says the energy was kind of stuck or we kept going back to this shitty cycle, this repetitive cycle. Like, time wasn't on our side or there was bad karma or something like that because of the Seven of Swords. So I do feel like this is strategy. We're planning for the right time. And it looks like it's coming. But I also feel like with the Seven of Swords, again, for some of you, this was, you both knew like you couldn't really take action because it wasn't the right thing to do at the time. Why is the Wheel of Fortune in reverse for Aquarius? Yeah, see, the Ten of Swords. You had to wait for something else to end. And listen, for some of you, it's not a person in a relationship, right? We have to be, when, we, when we're watching tarot, reading tarot, we have to be very open-minded about, you know, we say third party. Listen, that doesn't always have to mean a person. For a lot of you, it is. But for some of you, that third energy was a family member that this person needed to help, or it was a job, or it was distance, or it was something like that. We just know that there's an obstacle in the way. But you guys are both on the same page now. But something, there was a cycle that needed to end. What's this Ten of Swords? And the strength card. So Leo energy, that strength card is talking about, again, showing patience, being really patient and overcoming obstacles with the strength card and having to really tame yourself, hold back. Because I just get the sense now, I mean, maybe not in the past, but now this energy for both of you is really wanting to do the right thing. You know what I mean? Like nobody wants to hurt anybody here. And so it's all about timing and karma and things moving forward. All right. What's your advice, Aquarius? You've got the Empress. Why is this Empress here? What is it? And the Ten of Coins. Yeah. Long term. Again, the coins are all about building something for long term. It's the future. It's marriage and commitment and it's social gatherings with family. And it's just, it's somebody that you build this future with for a very long time. And it's on that Empress. So advice from Spirit with the Empress is to continue to feed the connection, to grow, to nurture, also, you know, 
also loving yourself. Like make sure you're taking really good care of yourself as well. And with that 10 of pentacles, again, that's just completion. What's this 10 of pentacles about? The two of cups in reverse. And to me, this is also a marriage that what? has to end or had to end two of cups in reverse there's that relationship that you know people are not no longer seeing eye to eye on an emotional level it is a breakup or a divorce <sighs> wow this is an interesting reading because i'm reading for you and the person on your mind but there's all of this like external energy coming in that's telling you why the person feels the way they do or how you guys are going to Oh my God, y'all, your outcome with the King of Cups. I was clarifying it and my video just completely cut out. What do you know? We're not even in a retrograde anymore. But what clarified it was the Fool. So Major Arcana for Aries. So again, it's like this new lease on life. This new path that you're going to be able to take with this person. Now able to jump and take that risk. The Fool, Zero Major Arcana. It's all about freedom and new paths and new choices and and new love or a new you know surgence of love and with this king of cups again it's a very emotional energy it's a very emotional reading it's kind of like yes finally at last something is really coming together now again with tarot is it all gonna everything unfold in the na next week not for everybody but remember it's energy we all have free will this is all the energy that's accumulating and manifesting throughout this week it's building 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 and it's a beautiful reading now i did want to tell you all real quick um i do go live on fridays at 2 p.m central so we do a weekend forecast if you guys want to join me this friday at 2 p.m central we'll do that we have a good time also too if you're interested in joining the channel there's a link below you get a lot of perks one of the additional perks you get is the extended readings throughout the month as part of your membership so check those out and i love you hard aquarius love me hard back and we'll speak soon take care